My name's Denise. And my name's Gabriel. And we will be talking about the effects of loneliness and how it can impact how it can impact different age groups. Some of the reasons of loneliness are isolation from parents or friends, bullying or loss of loved ones. Loneliness can be very serious and can impact people's lives majorly, causing extreme outcomes and effects such as strokes, depression, anxiety, change in behaviour and suicide. Sometimes these effects can be fixed by people opening up about the way they feel to people they trust or being around people that make them feel better. The most affected age group are 16 to 24 year olds. This can affect them as they are starting new lives or focusing on their exams. Although 16 to 24 year olds suffer the most, elderly people can also struggle with loneliness. Due to their age, they may have lost their husband or wife and that can make them feel lonely or depressed. Which is why we asked someone a few questions on loneliness and saw their thoughts on what they a, think of it, but also how they think people can overcome it. Um, what, you know, what does loneliness mean to you? Gosh, what a question. That's a difficult one, isn't it, loneliness? Um, I think um, loneliness can apply to all of us. That's, and that's what's the difficult thing about loneliness, is that you could be in a room full of people, you can have the best family and friends around you, and yet you can still feel lonely. Um, and that's what's really tricky about, about that, that, that feeling, because it's an emotion. Um, I think it's it's really difficult to to know when somebody's feeling lonely. I think uh, knowing how to tackle loneliness is all, is another really difficult thing to do as well. If you if you can't if you don't articulate it if you don't even know yourself why you might be feeling a little bit isolated and at sea, um, then it can be really difficult to know what that means. Yeah. How do you think it affects people and students in general? I think um, loneliness can really affect students in a school quite quite significantly because as I said earlier you know you can be in an environment like this one it's a really busy environment lots and lots of people around you all day but if you don't feel that you fit in or perhaps you feel that you know, you're a bit different or your likes and, and dislikes maybe set you apart from other people and you're feeling that isolation then that can that can really leave you in a vulnerable position and leave you quite troubled and I think that then happens on a bigger scale and it is magnified when you become an adult and get out into the world because there can be times when you can feel really lonely as a person, especially if you're busy working away and, and perhaps you're lost in your own thoughts, lost in your own world and not necessarily knowing what people are thinking and feeling around you. Yeah. What would you recommend people do if they feel depressed or if they know someone who is feeling depressed? It's hard, isn't it, to, to know... Um, how people are feeling. I think depression again is such a personal thing. There's so much stigma and negativity around mental health that, that can be quite dangerous. So I think being really honest with yourself and being really honest with people around you, people who care about you, I think that's what people should do if they're feeling depressed. Talking, communication is really important. Not necessarily because you're expecting that person to solve your feelings of depression, but it's really important to let somebody know perhaps you're feeling low, you've got a low mood, perhaps there's things going on in your mind that are really troubling you, giving you some really troubling thoughts. And then try and distract yourself. I think there's lots of things that people can do to distract themselves from those low, low mood and feelings like that. We all feel sad and, and low at, some, at times, so it's about knowing what to do in those situations. So knowing that you know, going out, maybe doing an activity, a bit of exercise, um, getting out and about and speaking to somebody and letting somebody in and letting somebody know that you've got an issue, I think that's really important. Okay. Building on top of that, what would you do if you saw a student that was looking lonely? If I saw a student looking lonely at them, I would, I would reach out. Um, I think we're in an environment um, in a school like this where it's really important to us that we show love towards one another. So if you, if you see somebody looking a bit, a bit low or a bit sad or just on their own, and just asking them, is everything okay? A smile can go a long way. Just smiling at somebody, knowing people's names, I think is also really important to me personally. I try, I don't know every single student in the school, but I try where possible to refer to people by their name so that they feel included and perhaps if, they, if they're worried about something, then I'd have that conversation with them, make sure that they were okay. Well, what do schools gen in general offer students that are feeling lonely? So I think there's lots of things that schools can do. I think opportunities for engaging, that's really important. So 
making sure that um, we've got really strong pastoral care, making sure that there are lots of opportunities for young people to be included in the life of the school. Lots, everyone's got their own strengths and weaknesses, so people know what they, they like and what they don't like. So having lots of different opportunities to appeal to lots of different interests is really important. It's a really important way of ensuring that young people are sometimes challenged into doing something that they, a bit out of their comfort zone, but also included and pushed into being involved in things that would make them feel a part of a community, a part of a team. And that's the really important job of a school, actually, is to make sure that every individual is included. It's a big community that we exist in, and it's, it's a challenge, but it's a challenge worth doing, I think. The effects of loneliness can be hard and can have a huge impact on people's lives, but there are ways to overcome it. Research Hedge tells us that over 9 million people in Britain are lonely from all age groups, from, even from the age of 10. Loneliness can affect anybody, but people don't always notice it. Lonely people tend to struggle when trying to overcome it, but opening up and spending time with family or people they trust can benefit them and help to solve it.